Um, and so we're going to play the 12, you know, kind of a 12 bar blues in the key of E. All right. So anytime I say E7, that's called the one chord in the blues. And I like to, you know, I play it this way, E7, like that. It's basically an E major chord with the ring finger off. And so we got that. But also E7 implies your standard 12 bar blues vibe, like like that. And then there's going to be lots of cool tricks and little fills in between that we're going to, that I'm going to definitely show you, you know, some of my favorites. All right. So we've got E7 and we're going to go what's called the four chord we're gonna do one of my favorite things to do with a7 which is called the land of a7 and I'm gonna just review that with with you right now basically I start with a regular old a7 chord that most people learn and it's gonna be a middle finger on the second fret of the D string and an open G string and then ring finger on the second fret of the B string and then the high E string So right off the bat, a variation is you could add your pinky to, or you know, yeah, pinky's best, um, to the third fret of the high E and you still have an A7. Which also lends the fact that you can have it on or off in the middle of the chord. But the land of A7 is really cool because any of these little shapes that I'm about to show you are going to work or sub be substituted for an A7 chord. So you can do these in any order. Um, but I'm just going to show you as we climb up. So we start with that A7 chord. And all the strings are strummed open except for the low E string if you can avoid it. I usually mute it a little bit with the top with, you know, my thumb. So we got that. Okay. Then we're going to look at the middle finger there and I'm going to slide it up a whole step. And then I'm going to get my index finger on the third fret of the B string and I'm still strumming everything except the low E. Very cool. So we have A7. And we move it up to the second shape. And that's still going to work for an A7. It's like an A9. Um, suspended four is what you would call that, but you don't have to worry about that. Okay, then I'm gonna notice I'm, I'm just gonna keep track of my middle finger because my ring and index are gonna be sharing those. We've already done the only two shapes we need for the whole thing, all the way back up to the to the original chord again. Okay, so we have this one, and I scoot it up to that one. Then I'm going to move my middle finger up a half step, and now I'm going back to the original A7 shape. So my ring finger's on the fifth fret of the B, same, and you know my middle finger's on the fifth fret of the D. And so that's the next shape. Then I can move that exact same shape up a whole step. the last one we did. Middle and ring finger on the seventh fret. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my, it's kind of, we are already did this little move down here, the first two. Now we're just going to do it again. So I'm going to move my middle finger up a whole step. So now it's on the ninth fret of the D string. And I'm going to add my index finger to the eighth fret of the B string. And that's our next shape. So, so far we have
Very good news. This last one we did where my middle finger's on the 9 of the D and my index is on the 8 of the B, that exact same shape is moved up a whole step. Okay, now middle finger goes to the 12th fret of the D. Ring finger goes to the 12th fret of the B. And then I just move that up a whole step to the 14th fret. And I'm back at the original A7 with these two notes being an octave higher. So here are the shapes. them in any order once you get comfortable with them. You know, guys write entire songs with that idea, alright? So what we're going to do right now is we're going to play the 12 bar blues and for the E7 we're just going to do a very standard thing because we're going to build off of that in a minute. But all I want to do is just climb up that land of A7 and, um, you know, I'll just play through it one time to demo it for you, and then that's a really good thing to practice. Even if you were to, you know, pause or stop right here and just work that land of A7 in different combinations, um, if you haven't already, then you'll be doing some cool sounding stuff, you know, and it's really emphasizing um, that, you know, the open strings, it's shimmering, it's, it, it sounds really beautiful. And that's what's cool about it being on the acoustic. So check it out. We're going to do e, E7 one time. Now we're going to go to land of A7. Right back to that. One time. Then we're going to do a B7. Which hopefully you know that already. And we, you know, we do B7 to A7, so to A7. You know, you can just add any of those moves from the land of A7. So we have B7, 3 and 4 and A7. And the turnaround this time, uh, I've showed it differently before. We're going to go like this. E7, so E7 to... A7 to E7 to B7 to and then it starts over. So it's going to sound like this. You can go ahead and try and play along with me. And the other cool thing is if, if um, when we get to that land of A7 part, it doesn't matter if, if I'm doing it in different combinations, they're always going to harmonize pretty well with any of the shapes of the land of A7. So if I'm on this one and you're playing with me and you're all the way up here, you're gonna hear it still sounds really sweet. So just experiment with that. I, I'm gonna play through it like four times and, um, and then I'm gonna show you some cool tricks for the, for the E. All right, so here we go. One, two, here we go.
Here we go, land of A7. Back to E. B7. B7, back to the top, uh, E7. Is I've covered a lot in other lessons. You could do a half step lower into it or a half step higher into it. Like. Or, or even an E7, a high, uh, half step higher. Look at the other bandmates. Uh, or a power jump. Whatever it takes, right? So that is the the recap of the land of A7. We're going to actually expand. We're going to add some um, seasonings, some uh, toasted tasty note seeds on top, um, just some cool embellishments and, and things like that they're gonna, that you can add to this. So that's going to be the next little module. Stay tuned. We're going to work on the land of E7 and uh, some cool tricks with what we just did.